Hello and welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I just got home from boot camp and let me tell you, this was a horrible workout. Not the boot camp workout itself, but it is so humid and muggy here because of being monsoon season. We've gotten some rain. The mosquitoes are already out for this season and I was dripping sweat. I literally had to blow dry my hair when I got home. That's how wet it was. The workout itself was really, really good. It was so hot and muggy out. I have a towel like I have a cooling towel that I've been bringing to wipe my sweat off. I actually bought it on Amazon, I'll link it for you. It's great if you are a sweaty workout person like I am, especially in this weather. So that definitely saved the day. I finished my entire bottle of water 30 minutes into my workout. So it was treacherous, but I got it done and now I'm ready for some breakfast. And I'm going to make an omelet. I've been really into omelets after my workouts just to pump up the protein. And then I pair that with some fruit for some carbs and then I add some cheese to it for some healthy fat. So let me show you what's going to be in today's omelet. So as always, I'll be doing my egg whites. I've been doing a little more egg whites, a third of a cup to a half of a cup, just to get the egg thick enough to flip it a little bit easier for the omelet. And then I'm going to add in some spinach. One of my goals is to really up my fruits and vegetables. So by just throwing in some baby spinach, you don't know that it's there and you get in some greens. And then I have, it looks like three pieces left of my turkey bacon. I'm going to put two in my omelet and we'll, we'll give the dogs the other one. And then for cheese, this was something I didn't know until I bought this cheese. I'm gonna be doing Sargento. This is full fat Colby Jack cheese. This cheese only has 70 calories per slice. Normal cheese slices like Tillamook, some of those other ones are over 100. So I don't know what, what's up with that. Is that something that I just never knew and you guys knew all along? But I noticed that the Colby Jack is 70 and I really like the sharp cheddar and that's only 80, which I feel like is less than most cheeses. This one has six grams of fat, zero carbohydrates and five grams of protein. So. I was today years old when I figured out Sargento cheese is less calories. So we're going to add a slice of cheese and then I have in this little container a mixture of cherries, grapes, and blueberries. I'm going to do about a cup of fruit on the side. Strange fruit is what we're used to. Here is my breakfast. Here is my omelet packed with protein. We've got some greens in there. And then I have a cup of a mixture of the cherries, blueberries, and grapes. So I'll put all the information for breakfast here on the screen for you. I just took my vitamins for the morning and I'm so excited to share with you, I just got this in. This is the brand new flavor of Motivate Burn. So Motivate reformulated, repackaged their burn formula, and they came out with Icy Blue Raz. Now, I love anything blue raspberry. I have heard amazing, amazing things about this, so I cannot wait to try it out. It smells like the blue raspberry slushies that you get at 7-Eleven. I'm so excited for this. So I'm going to mix this up. Helps with burning fat energy and focus. I love burn either as a pre-workout. So if I'm doing a little bit later in the day workout, if I'm taking a hike, I use burn as my pre-workout because it gives you that bit of energy boost. And then I also like it mid-morning, mid-afternoon when I feel like I just need a little bit of energy. It gives me the energy that I need. I love the fat burning properties. It helps me focus so that I can get my work done during the day. It helps me get in my water and it tastes amazing. So I'm so excited to try out the new Icy Blue Rad. You can buy the burn in a tub or they do sell travel single serve packets, not of the Icy Blue Raz, but some of the other popular burn flavors. It also comes in what is called no stim. The Icy Blue Raz does not come in no stim, but there are a couple of flavors. There's Miami Lemonade and Kiwi Strawberry, and that's going to give you the fat burn, the energy, the focus without the caffeine, without the stimulant. So if you're sensitive to caffeine or stimulants, grab the no stim. If you want the little bit of afternoon, morning, pre-workout pick-me-up, grab the Motivate Burn, but let's mix this up. I'm so excited to try the new flavor. So we're going to add one scoop. This is the size of the scoop into our water. And then I either use a shaker cup or just my little handheld frother to mix it in. Then we're going to add ice. Pop our lid on, grab a straw, and let's taste it. So let's try out the new Motivate Icy Blue Raz. 
Ooh. It tastes like the blue raspberry slushy from 7-Eleven. It actually tastes exactly the way that it smells. This is really good. Definitely my favorite flavor of burn. Since the reformulation of the recovery in the burn, I think it's gotten even better in taste. This is so good. This is definitely my favorite flavor of burn. Also, if you're interested in the recovery as well, they do have an energy bundle. You actually get both the Motivate Burn and the recovery in a bundle deal. And then you can use my code here on the screen, the link down in the description box, to get an additional 20% off. So you're kind of double dipping your discounts. And both of these are amazing. I love them both. This, huge win, my favorite burn flavor. Apparently it's time for special bones at our house. The smart bones made with real chicken. I buy these on Amazon. They're way cheaper on Amazon than at the store. Are you spoiled? Yeah, you're spoiled. There you go, buddy. He's up early today and he's not having it. There you go, babe. So I just came to my office to do some work. I really like this new Motivate Burn. It's seriously so good. The flavor is like a slushy. I'm here for it. I wanted to let you know too that today I'm expecting a lot of packages, so we'll kind of unbox them as they come in. I just received on Saturday my order from Nador. I purchased some bras from them quite a while ago before I lost all of my weight, and my high school reunion is coming up here in about three weeks. I actually fly to Spokane late July for my 30-year high school reunion, and since my cosmetic surgery and since my weight loss, I've slowly been purchasing bras and I wanted to pick up a piece of shapewear for my 30 year high school reunion. I'm not sure what I'm going to wear to my 30 year high school reunion. So I wanted to pick up some bras and a piece of shapewear that I could incorporate. And then of course just have them for day to day wear. So I'm actually wearing one of the bras today and I love this. I've heard really good things about this bra. It has really, really good reviews on the Nador website and for good reason. It is so incredibly comfortable. And I will tell you one thing I love about it is it camouflages all my my loose skin right here and all the loose skin that I have on my back. This is the V-neck seamless wireless bra. I have mine in black. It actually comes in nude in a purple color. This is a V-neck wireless comfort bra with no underwire or elastic bands. It's breathable, lightly lined with super soft padded cups. You can remove the pads. Underarm smoothing with seamless stretch and it has a fabric that's very, very comfortable. I also appreciate the V-neck design of the bra because it makes everything look good up there and it is so incredibly comfortable. I do not buy wire bras. They're uncomfortable. I hate when the wires pop out and this feels like I'm not even wearing a bra. It is so incredibly comfortable. I'm definitely going to pick up the other two colors. The door is size inclusive. The bra comes in size small through extra, extra large. I picked mine up in a large and it fits me perfectly. Now the shoulders are a little bit big on me, but they have the, but they are fully adjustable. And like I said, it's the bra that I'm wearing today. I absolutely love it. And then I picked up one more bra, again, wireless, and I really like the lace design of this. This is that pretty purple color. Now this seamless bra that I'm wearing comes in this color as well. And this is a little bit longer lined bra. It does have cups that are removable. It is so lightweight, soft, and comfortable. This is the wavy lace breathable push-up bra. Again, it comes in nude, black, and this light purple color. There's no underwire, no elastic band, anti-sweat, and breathable design, lightly lined, underarm smoothing and seamless stretch, adjustable shoulders, and anti-slip actually under the cups. I really like this bra as well. It's not as full coverage as the one that I'm wearing, and because it is such a nice thin material with no back, you just slip it on, you can wear it with any type of clothing and you're not going to see the bra underneath. Again, really, really comfortable, Happy to have this one as well. And then I grabbed their stick-on bras. These are amazing. I used to have these prior to my weight loss. Obviously, those no longer fit me. If you're new to my channel, I do have implants. My breasts stay in place, but these are still really nice to have just for some added support. And if you want to wear something off the shoulder or a halter top or something that you don't want to see a bra strap, these come in really handy. They're the Invisible Backless Adhesive Bra. Comes in four different colors. I have mine just in the off-white. Comes in cup sizes A through D. I have a D. It gives your bust a natural looking lift. 
It's a stick-on clip bra that maximizes your figure underneath tops and dresses. It's made from silicone and you can put the bra cups on individually or you can clasp them in the middle like I did so that it forms more of an actual bra. But again, these come in really handy with all of those fun strapless designs for summer. And like I said, I don't know what I'm going to wear to my reunion and I didn't want to have to worry about bra straps if I chose something that did that would show them. And then another thing with all of my weight loss comes loose skin. And I do have quite a bit of loose skin on my stomach. I have quite a bit of loose skin on my inner thighs. I even still have a little bit of loose skin on my back. I wanted to grab some shapewear. Again, I, pr I may wear a bodycon style dress to my reunion and I wanted something that was going to smooth everything out. This is the most comfortable piece of shapewear I have ever put on my body. This is the seamless, barely there brief bodysuit. It comes in nude in black in sizes extra, extra small through 5XL. It's seamless and it's a soft bodysuit crafted with high quality fabric, lightweight, elastic, and skin friendly material. It's a breathable mesh. It has a convenient open crotch design so you won't need to remove your clothes when using the restroom. It also has fully adjustable straps. I love that it has the snap closure. Again, making using the restroom convenient and it is so comfortable. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. When they say seamless, they mean seamless. This and the bra that I'm wearing are absolutely the stars of this haul. I really love this. I can see myself using this a lot. Anytime I'm wearing something more fitted, this is going to come in so handy. It does have a pretty high back, so it camouflages any excess back fat. It also gets rid of any excess armpits fat or skin, smooths out the tummy. I'm amazed at how comfortable this is. This is definitely going to be a staple for me. And like I said, this bodysuit and this bra, stars of the show. So that's my little Nador haul and I love everything that I picked up. Really versatile pieces, amazing prices. Uh, you can use the code here on the screen for 20% off site wide. I can't recommend the seamless bra and the bodysuit enough. This is a nice addition for a wireless bra. And then of course the stick on bra comes in extremely handy. So another big win from Nador. It's a brand I really, really like, and I can't wait to wear these all the time. You guys have to see Mr. Clayton over here. Are you tired? Yes, we're tired, Yada, Funty Bulldog. See, I had to get up early this morning, and I don't like morning. And then this one, she's been up since 4 a.m. with mom. Lola, have you been up since 4? <laughs> yes, you have. She goes back for chemo tomorrow, so she goes back for her treatment, then she gets two weeks off. She sees the internal medicine doctor too on Wednesday, so I'll give you guys an update on that in next week's video. I'm about to hop on a coaching call, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about why Lola's going to the internal medicine doctor. I don't know that I've shared it on my channel, but it, for the past several months, even close to a year, she's had high protein in her urine. She has had no side effects from the high protein in the urine, which typically can lead to issues with the kidney. It means that her body is producing too much protein. Her oncologist was kind of stumped as to why she has high protein in her urine, and none of the other typical side effects from that. So she's been on medication for the protein for months. She was taking one pill a day, then we bumped her up to two pills a day. Well, it's not, it's not changing the amount of protein in her urine. And a couple of weeks ago when they tested her, her kidneys were a little bit elevated. So they recommended that she sees an internal medicine doctor. Her regular vet, her oncologist, they're not specialized in internal medicine. So she actually goes in Wednesday morning at 8.30 to see the internal medicine doctor. It's $300 just for her to walk in the door. So it's going to be another expensive bit of treatment for Lola, but, and that paired with chemo is, is very, very expensive, but we need to figure out where this protein is coming from. Maybe she needs different medication. We don't think it has anything to do with her cancer or the chemo. So it's just, everybody's kind of stumped as to why she has the high protein. So next week I'll update you as to what we found out at the internal medicine doctor, but I'm hoping that we can keep it so that it doesn't affect her kidneys. We don't want her to have any kidney issues, especially kidney failure, because it's not reversible. So it is important that we see this doctor. So again, I'll keep you guys posted and let you know what we find out. I just finished my coaching call and I am in need of some coffee. So I'm going to make an iced protein coffee. So I have my cold brew here in my cold brew pitcher. My pitcher is off of Amazon and the cold brew that I use is Drag Up. What's in here is the marshmallow, Goose's marshmallow I think. And then I have Bananas Foster for the next batch. I just make it in my cold brew pitcher, 
It's amazing, it tastes delicious. I always say I don't like any cold brew but Dragup. They all taste horrible and bitter to me, but Dragup is amazing. And then I'm going to add a packet or a scoop of Clean Simple Eats protein. This is coconut cream. I really like this mixed with the marshmallow cold brew. So all I'm going to do is mix these two things together, fill my glass, this is a 32 ounce mason jar with water, and that's going to be my second protein supplement of the day and my second iced coffee. And then I'm going to have, as always, two of my Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. You can find these at some health food stores. I typically just order off of her website. I will link her website down below for you, but these are just nice little oatmeal cookies that are packed with fiber. So a great way to get in some fiber and a little bit of protein. So let's have cookies and coffee. So this has 20 grams of protein and is only 100 calories and it's so good. So creamy, I, like I said, I love the coconut cream. I actually like all of the Clean Simple Eats protein powders mixed with coffee. I just kind of change it up depending on what I'm in the mood for, but I do have a discount for Clean Simple Eats and Drag Up. I will link them down below for you. I'll also link my cold brew pitcher, but the cookies and the coffee is my morning snack. So my first package just came. I ordered these little lamps off of Amazon. I'm so excited for these. These are from the brand Qantas and these are LED rechargeable table lamps. You can buy them in a set of one or a set of two. They come in white and black. I picked mine up in black. I want one of these for my office and one of these for my spare bedroom. So in my spare bedroom, there's a little table that sits next to the bed and I wanted a lamp for that table. That way they don't have to use the big overhead light and fan when we have guests staying in that room and these are going to be perfect. These are so cute, oh my gosh. These are even cuter than I thought that they would be. And again, these are rechargeable LED lamps. I'm so excited for these. We've got cords, we've got lamps, we've got instructions. I'm excited about these cordless LED lamps because you can place them anywhere in your home. You could even use them outdoors because they are fully waterproof. All you do is touch the top of the lamp and the light turns on. You can switch effortlessly between cozy warm light and more of a natural light with a simple double tap. One full charge of the battery offers 24 hours of operation with 360 degree Uniform illumination, a soft, non-glaring light experience. It solves the problem of placing lights in areas where power outlets are too far away. You can use the Qantas cordless table lamp in any area of your home, again, including outside. Simple to charge with USB and offers 24 hours of light with one simple charge. I may even use the one in my office here when we're outside in the evening for light. I love that these can go anywhere in your home, outdoors, anywhere that you need light and you don't have to worry about an outlet. That they're LED so there's no bulbs to change. They're heavy duty, nice quality and extremely affordable. Again, you can pick these up right off of Amazon. I will link them down below for you. I'm so excited about these. I'm going to make some lunch. I am so hungry, like starving. And I'm going to make a taco bowl. So the other night I cooked up a bunch of 93.7 ground beef. Troy had tacos for dinner last night. I said, please don't eat all the taco meat because I want to make a bowl. So I'm going to weigh out four ounces of ground meat. This is again, 93.7 ground beef. I'm going to top it with some light shredded cheese. Also some light sour cream, salsa, and avocado. I'm probably going to weigh out maybe 40 grams of avocado and put this all in a bowl. And basically I'm making a taco or a burrito bowl. So I'm skipping the shell and I'm just doing all of the components. Just a really great way to get in protein. And I'll probably have something maybe sweet for dessert after. Let's see how full I am from the taco bowl, but let's put it together. All right, so first I'm adding four ounces of ground beef. Actually, let me see how much is left in here. So that's just about six ounces of ground beef with the seasoning. So I'm gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and put all six ounces in my bowl. And then 28 grams is a serving of cheese. I'm going to start with 14 grams. 
So there's 14 grams, that is plenty of cheese for me. And then a tablespoon or two tablespoons of sour cream is 30 grams. So let me zero out my food scale. I do wanna do two tablespoons of sour cream. Again, zeroing out my food scale, I'm looking for about 40 grams of avocado. Okay, there's 28 grams, 36, 39, almost there, 40 grams of avocado. And then I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of salsa on top, a couple tablespoons. So here's my taco bowl. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Like I said, I added a little bit more meat than I was planning. So let me see how full I am, if I'll have room for something sweet a little or something a little crunchy after my taco bowl, but I cannot wait to dig it. Okay, so we got two more packages. I got an Amazon delivery and ugh, my One Up Nutrition delivery. So from Amazon, I ended up ordering a new Apple Watch band. Mine is pretty trash and my little cover here that protects the screen is broken. So I ordered a new one of those as well. Ooh, this is cute. So this is a whole like little kit. So there's actually an Apple Watch band and the protective cover. And this one is like a rubbery band and this one's an actual watch band, which is what I had before and I really like that better than these plasticky ones. And then it came with, oh, this is cute. It came with this little jeweled bedazzled cover that actually protects the face of the watch. I need that because I'm hard on sunglasses, my phone, watches. So we'll put the new band on my Apple watch. This was super affordable on Amazon. I'll link it for you. And then I placed a huge one-up nutrition order. I had to do a big restock of my supplement. So first up are my samples. Every time you order with one-up nutrition, you get to pick two samples per product that you order. So you actually can customize the samples. So in this particular order, I stocked up on the chocolate peanut butter blast protein powder. I actually really, really like this one up nutrition protein. I tried the coconut protein and it was okay, but the chocolate peanut butter is really, really good. So I got seven packages or seven scoops of protein powder, seven servings for free. And then in my order, I'm excited about one thing. I've never tried it before. I did restock my creatine. So this is the Pure Rebuild Creatine. I picked up the flavor Citrus Punch. I haven't tried this one. My all-time favorite flavor so far is pineapple. That is my favorite creatine flavor. But creatine helps build lean muscle, helps with recovery, endurance. And creatine is something most people should take daily. And I actually take it every single day, whether I work out or not, I take my creatine supplement. So I bought the Citrus Punch and I bought the Fruit Punch. Now I haven't tried either of these flavors, so again, I'm really excited for that. Oh, and one thing about 1UP, the more you buy, the cheaper it is. So I actually have a discount for 1UP Nutrition. I'll link it for you, and you can use that in addition to any discounts on their website. And I think if you bought five things, you got 20% off or something like that. So I ended up buying six things. I usually do when I stock up from 1UP. And then I bought three of my L-Carnitine. So I take this before I work out and their new flavor was great so I had to try that one my favorite flavor of the L-carnitine is the sour gummy worm which I think I ordered yes I did order a sour gummy worm but this is a non-stimulant fat burner that helps convert fat to energy supports healthy metabolism appetite control promotes fat loss improves energy production promotes performance, reduces fatigue, and speeds up recovery. So I take L-carnitine before my workout, I take creatine after. Both of these support lean muscle and recovery. So again, I got the grape, the sour gummy worm, and the tropical mango. I have not tried that flavor. And then the last thing I got, I've heard all about this on social media. So many people recommend this. I've never tried it because I love Clean Simple Eats, that's my favorite protein, but I did buy the One Up Nutrition Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream Protein Powder. Like I said, I've heard amazing things about this. 25 grams of protein, it even has five and a half grams, five and a half grams of BCAAs. It's 150 calories, again, 25 grams of protein, two grams of fat, six carbohydrates, so not bad at all. 
No artificial flavors and it is a whey protein. So I'm not gonna try this until we try it together in next Wednesday's What I Eat Today. So I will put this away until I film next week's video and we will test it out together. But like I said, I've heard really, really good things about this and I highly recommend the chocolate peanut butter protein as well. If you're placing a one-up nutrition order, you might as well get some free protein. And if you're interested in trying the one-up, I'll of course give you my honest review next week. We can try that together. So that is everything I think that I'm expecting today. The lamps, my one-up and Amazon. I think that's it. If anything else comes in the I'll definitely show you. All right, there's my new watch band. This is actually really, really nice quality. I will say that this little protector, as beautiful as it is, there is no screen. So what you, it's just a frame. So my actual watch face isn't protected. I may put a little glass cover on it just to protect it because I am hard on them, but I really like this. I ended up having to take out four links though. It was way, way, way too big for me. It was really easy to take the links out and put it together. Ooh, I like it. I am styling. It's time for an afternoon snack and I want a snack plate. So I've been thinking about what I want to add to my snack plate. I actually bought these off of Amazon. They come as a four pack. You get four different colors. I'll actually show them to you once I tell you what I'm going to to have for a snack, but I like them because they have this little bowl here for dips or sauces. So what I'm going to do is the Quest Cheese Crackers Cheddar Blast. I love these. You know I love Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. These taste like Cheez-Its, but have 10 grams of protein and only 130 calories. So we're going to do crackers. I have hard boiled eggs, a great source of protein. Whenever I do hard boiled eggs, I eat one whole egg and then one egg white. I skip the yolk on the second one just to skip the extra fat because really all the protein is in the egg itself. And then I'm going to do some mini cut up cucumber Numbers. And this Panera Ranch dip that I bought in my grocery haul last week is so good. Troy and I absolutely love it. It's two tablespoons for 90 calories. So I'm actually going to put the ranch in the little dip cup of the plate and we'll dip in our cucumber. So I also decided to add my harvested tomatoes. Last what I eat in a day, I showed you that we did some landscaping in our backyard and that included a tomato plant that was on its deathbed at Walmart. Troy has revived it with lots of water and we are getting so many good little cherry tomatoes Tomatoes. So I'm going to throw a couple of these on my snack plate too. So here is the little pack of plates. Like I said, you get four different colors and I just love them. They really make such a fun way to have a little snack plate. So let me put this together and I'll show you my completed snack. So here's my snack. This looks amazing. So those are the Quest crackers. You get quite a few for the calories, 10 grams of protein, two tablespoons of the dip, tomatoes, cucumbers, one whole egg and one egg white. I just went ahead and sprinkled on some everything but the bagel seasoning. For dinner tonight, I'm making spaghetti pie. I'm really excited for this. Basically, it's going to be like a baked spaghetti. So let me show you what you'll need. So you'll need minced garlic, a light mozzarella of your choice, a bell pepper, an onion, a pound of ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you want to use. I think the recipe calls for ground turkey, but I'm actually going to use 96% ground beef. Pasta, you only need about a half of a box. Mushrooms, cottage cheese, tomato sauce, a couple of egg whites, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm doing is bringing some water to a boil and you're going to cook down your pasta. Of course, all of the ingredients, portion size, everything is on my recipe website. Now that I have drained the spaghetti, we're going to add two egg whites and a third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and then we're going to mix that together to coat. I sprayed a pie pan with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add our noodles, and then spread those out in the bottom of the pie pan, kind of making a crust. I have 12 ounces of cottage cheese. I'm going to add two egg whites to that. And then we're going to stir to combine. Then we're going to spread that right on top of the spaghetti noodles. To a large skillet sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, we're going to add our meat. We're also going to add our diced up green pepper. I did about three quarters of the green pepper and then one small onion. And then our mushrooms. I'm going to do the entire pack just because mushrooms cook down to basically nothing. Garlic. 
and we're going to allow that to cook down until the meat is browned and our veggies are soft. Then I'm going to add in eight ounces of tomato sauce, some Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. And then we're just allowing that to warm through. And then we're adding that meat mixture right on top. And then spread that out nice and even. And then this is going into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. So I added half of a cup of light shredded mozzarella. I'm going to let this sit for a couple of minutes, serve it up, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. This looks and smells really, really good. The longer you let it sit, I think the more together the pieces will stay, but it all goes to the same place. So that is tonight's dinner. So for dessert, I'm going to be making this viral on TikTok. I've also seen this on Instagram, magic shell topping. I've made this in a previous video, but I've discovered another way that I really, really like to make it. So I wanted to share it with you. Super simple, great way to get in protein. So you're going to need a yogurt of your choice. The original recipe makes a Snickers dupe, so they use vanilla yogurt. I like doing more of like a peanut butter jelly vibe. I also like to use a yogurt that's fruit flavored. So I'm going to do the two good in strawberry, and then I'm going to mix in two tablespoons of PB Fit. This is a great way to get in some added protein. It's only 60 calories and seven more grams of protein in addition to the yogurt. So I mix that right into the yogurt itself. And then for the chocolate magic shell topping, you'll need sugar-free chocolate chips. I use Chalk Zero, my all-time favorite chocolate chip. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste, any bitterness like Lily's. I think it tastes just like regular chocolate chips. So I do two tablespoons with a teeny tiny little bit of coconut oil. That's going to make the chocolate when we melt it nice and smooth like magic shell. And then I top it with some peanuts. So let's make this. I'm so excited for this. I just finished dinner and I do like to make this about an hour or two in advance because I want the chocolate topping to get nice and crunchy like magic shell. So we're going to add our cup of yogurt to a bowl and then our two tablespoons of PB Fit. And then you just stir your peanut butter in really well with your yogurt. You could also do one tablespoon. Sometimes I do two tablespoons, sometimes I do one. I figured I would do two just to get in the extra protein. So here is what the yogurt looks like all mixed together. And then I have my two tablespoons of Chalk Zero chocolate chips and you can see like literally the tiniest bit, like half a teaspoon of coconut oil. I'm going to throw this in the microwave, get this nice and melted. How creamy that is and then I like to just drizzle the chocolate coating right on top of my yogurt. I try to loosely spread it out just to cover all of the yogurt. And then I sprinkle one tablespoon of peanuts right on top. Ooh, I cover this with saran wrap and pop it in the fridge. Like I said, about an hour to two before you want to eat dessert so that that chocolate gets nice and hardened. on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Definitely check out Nador, Motivate for the new burn flavor, as well as those little lamps, all the good stuff I hauled today. Monday is always a day that I get a lot of packages because of the weekend, So I and I always film my What I Eat in a Days on Monday. So let me know down below if you'd like to see me unbox things with you or show you what comes in the mail. Let me know down below because I can always include it in What I Eat in a Day videos. Also, tonight's dinner recipe, was amazing and it is on my website. That will also be linked in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. Free, supportive, we would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.